Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Last month I made this coffee maker and even though I've only drunk tea since, I did say I was going to make some coffee scoops to go with it. I've got these scraps of oak that have got splits in, so I should be able to get a spoon out of each one. First, I sketch out the design for the spoon and I make it the same for both, as I want to have a go at two different techniques. My plan is to try and make one spoon just using power tools and another just using hand tools. I'm going to start with the power tool one and I've got this Arbitec ball gouge that I'm going to fit onto my grinder. I got this a couple of years ago and I've not really used it since. So I had to go in some scrap wood first, but I soon remembered how simple it is to use. I find the more you angle the grinder over, the better the cut it makes and it leaves really quite a nice finish. With the bowl carved, I can take it over to the bandsaw and get the spoon cut out, just following my line. Now from the top it looks kind of spoon shaped, but it's far too chunky. I want to thin down this handle and have it curved around this bowl. So with it marked out, I can start removing the waste on the bandsaw. Being very careful, I use the bandsaw to carve away as much waste as I can. When I've done as much as I feel happy with on the bandsaw, I then move on to sanding. So I get the belt sander set up in the vise and then I can start using that to shape the spoon. Where the handle meets the scoop part is a bit of an inside curve so I use the bobbin sander for that and some final shaping. And I think that's about as far as I can take it with power tools but like most projects it's going to need a bit of hand sanding but I'll do that at the end. So let's try and make another one, but this time using hand tools. So I'm starting with exactly the same design of spoon. As you can see, it's already got a split in, so I'm just going to cut it along that split. Now I don't know much about carving, but the one thing I do know is you need really sharp tools. So I give everything a good strop before I start. I get the oak attached to my bench with a hold fast, and then I can start carving. I position a gouge on the line I've drawn and work my way into the center. Then move it to another position and work to the center again. And I keep doing this until I'm all the way round. I just keep working on this until I've got it down to the depth I want. And then I do a last bit of clean up. Now to get the shape cut out and it's so tempting just to take it to the bandsaw, but I'm going to use a rip saw to cut most of the waste away. When I've got most of it cut away, I can then use a fret saw to follow the curved line of the scoop. For the shaping, I start with a spoke shave and this is quite a satisfying process. It also leaves a much nicer finish than the bandsaw and you can sit down while you're doing it. For a bit more of the delicate shaping I use my little Mora carving knife. Again, this is quite fun to do. Who doesn't love a bit of whittling? So when I've got this one done as far as I can take it with the hand tools I give them both a sand down. I decided I'd like a leather loop going through the handle, so I mounted them in a vise and got the hole drilled out. Now I have to confess, the one I was just going to make using hand tools, I also drilled out this way, mainly as I just got caught up in what I was doing and just got on with it. So as these need to be food safe, I'm finishing them with some mineral oil. I just rub on one coat and leave it to dry for a few hours. 
So to be able to hang these up, I've got some little scraps of leather boot lace that I'm going to thread through the holes. They're not really long enough to tie a knot in, so I'm going to punch a hole through with the awl, then get it clamped up in my stitching pony. I can now get a needle and thread poked through the hole, and I keep wrapping the thread round, then I punch another hole and put the thread back through and tie it off. And that's it all done. So which method do I like the best? Well, probably a combination of them both. The bandsaw is great for moving most of the waste, but carving by hand is good fun. So give it a go. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.